Hello, my name is Renee Walker. Welcome to my week's one Q position assignment. On today, I will bring to you a brief description traits of two positions, one being above the line and one being below the line. My above the line position that I have chosen is a director. My below the line position I have chosen is a line producer. Stay tuned while I give you a brief description of both positions and their traits and responsibilities. Just to give you a brief description of what a director is. A film director is a person that oversees the film actors and crew into making the film project successful and complete. Hello, welcome back. Now I'm about to give you the responsibilities of a director. A director's responsibilities are as follows. Being a director, you must be able to read the strip. You also must be take part of casting the actors. Upon casting the actors, you will also have to be a part of the rehearsal with the actors. Also, you will work with the artist on the storyboard to get the vision that you had already set in place. Also, within your position, you will be working close with the editor on the first cut of the film. Again, responsibilities for a director. You also will work close with the first assistant director. Within that position of the assistant director that you're working with, you have to do what they call making a day. Making a day is basically making sure all of the shots are completed within a day. Also, as a director, you will work with the editor to make sure the first cut is achieved for that day. Last but not least, you will work with the department heads and the first assistant director for proper scheduling. Stay tuned for the traits of a director. Welcome back. Let's talk about the traits of being a successful director. Some of the traits in order to become or to be a successful director will be as follows. One, you must be a visual person. You must have dramatic aspects. You also must have technical aspects. But most of all, you must be a good leader. You must show good leadership. You also must be a good motivator. The director that I admire for his work will be Quentin Tarantino. I admire this American film director because of his work and challenges that he take upon making his movies. After watching several of his movies like Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, Django Unchanged, Jack Brown, and many more, I can see that Quentin has a vision beyond others. He takes on movies that, that contains many controversial subjects and storylines. So this tells me that Quentin's vision for his work is beyond and he likes to challenge. That makes me admire him because within me, I will want films that are challenging and controversial and different from others. Now we'll give you a brief description of a line producer. A line producer works directly with the executive producer of the film. The line producer functions as a key manager during the daily operation of a film. Now to some responsibilities of a line producer. A line producer responsibility is to come up with the budget for the film. He or she is also in charge of hiring the director and the unit production manager. The line producer is also in charge of approving the cast, the strip, and also the production location. Now that we have talked about the descriptions and the responsibilities of a line producer, let's go ahead and talk about some traits that you would need to become a successful line producer. You must have a strong logistics of filmmaking and time management. You must have the ability to handle people, consultation, lots of details, and people all at once. You also must be able to handle stress and to fire people. The line producer I admire for his work would be Ruben Cannon. I admire Ruben Cannon for his artistic aspects in the following films. Meet the Brown, Why Did I Get Married, and a, and a Family That Prays. Ruben Cannon work shows he has the ability to oversee a project and also complete a project that are successful.